Hi and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I will show you how to use one other form of a while loop, which is called the end of file while loop. And I will also show you with a practical example, how to design a program that will allow you to read the content of the file until there are no more data to read. Actually, the end of file loop is a kind of loop that is used to continually read input values, be it from a keyboard or from a file until there are no more data values to read. So it is important to know how to use this form of loop because you may be developing a program where you would use a file as your source of input for the application. Then, as you know, data in a file can be altered or modified at any moment. So it's not a very good idea to apply, for example, a Sentinel controlled loop over that file for the simple reason that someone may accidentally erase the Sentinel variable or even modify the whole content of the file, especially when many people are working on the same project. This can lead to so many errors and so many bugs and eventually uh, waste your time trying to fix these errors. So as you might have understood, in such a situation, using an end of file loop is the best thing to do. And one thing very important that you need to note also is that the form of an end of file loop depends on the type of object you are using as your source of input. So here on the screen is a typical example of an end of file while loop that uses the keyboard as the source of input. And as you can see here, I have declared my input uh, object and system that in here is making reference to the default input device, which is the keyboard. So here is what you need to note from this portion of code. First of all, I started by declaring and initializing the input object that I called console here. After that, I have also declared the various variables that will be used in the program. I have total price here and I set its value to zero. And I also have the second variable, which is price. Notice that I'm using the expression console that has next as the loop condition. We already know console here is making reference to the input object that I have declared here, but has next here is a predefined Java class that belongs to, uh, it's a predefined Java method that belongs to the predefined class scanner. So this expression console that has next will return a Boolean value, okay? So that means that if it returns true, then the following action statements will be executed. But if it returns false, these action statements are not going to be executed. So as you can notice here, the first action statement is used to allow the user to input the values in into the program. Meanwhile, the second action statement is going to operate the summation of all the values entered. So that was it for concerning this first example. Now let's take our second example where I'm going to show you how to write an end of file control while loop that uses a file as the source of input. So I would delete this one. And let's suppose that we are given a file consisting of students' names and their test results. For example, here I have that file where I have the first name of the student, the name, and then the score of the test. And as you can see, each line of the file here is made up of the student name followed by the test score. So we want to build a program that would output each student's name followed by the score and then the grade corresponding to the score they made uh, uh, at the particular test. So to begin, I need to make sure that I have saved my input file correctly. And as you can see here, I have saved my input file in the same directory as my project. So that will determine how I'm going to refer to it when I will decl uh, declare my input uh, file. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to declare the input object. So I will say scanner and I will call my input object input file and new scanner, open the brackets and inside the bracket I will say new file reader. 
and then in here i'll say that's the name of my input file i say student test score that txt and then semicolon so as you can see here that's what i called my input file if i come back to my program i need to import my file reader class like this and here i need to add an exception so i, I click on add throws declaration it's going to add that exception so that it will allow us to use the file reader class so the next thing i'm going to declare will be my output object and as we know we are also going to use um, a file as our output object so i will instead of saying system that out that print line i will rather say printer print writer rather output so i'll say output file and i will do new print writer output i will call this output so this output that txt here is going to be used as my output object so when i will run my program the result of my program will be stored in this file so that's actually what i'm saying by writing this code all right so the next thing i will do is to declare the various variables that will be used in this program so i will say string the first variable i will say in first name the second variable will be the variable name because as you can see here in my input file i'm having first name the first name here and then the name and then the score so the next variable will be the score so i will say double because it's decimal number as you can see from the file here i have decimal numbers so i need to declare this variable as a double variable so i will say score like this semicolon i'm also going to declare another variable that i will call grade so this is going to store the grade corresponding to the score that the student had during the test so now before writing the while loop statement i need to initialize the counter so i will say int i'll call this variable counter here and initialize it by giving it the value zero then i'm going to write my end of file while loop i will use the has next in the loop condition to read through the input file so this is how to write this end of file loop i'll say while so my input file i called it my input object i called it input file and i'll say that has next open and close the brackets like this open the curly braces and in here i'm going to write the various action statements that will execute whenever this condition returns true so the first action statement will be um to allow the program to read the first name from the file so i will say first name this is the variable first name the name of my file which is input file that next so i'm writing next here is a predefined method and because the value that i want to get is a string so that's why i'm writing next if it was an integer i was supposed to write next int if it was a double okay variable i'm supposed to write next double but this is a string i just need to write next like this so for the name as well i will say input file next because the name is also of type integer uh string next one will be score i will say input so all these statements are going to allow the program to get the values from the input file so here score is of type double so i will say next double semicolon and i'm going to say a counter plus plus so this is just to get the number of times okay this while loop is going to be executed now in order to determine the grade i need to use a switch case structure and i will just say switch like this so i will say like um like an int so i want to convert this value the value out of this operation okay score divided by 10 and i'm putting that int here because i want to convert whatever value will come out of this operation convert it into an integer value so in my switch here i will say case zero case one so i'll just copy and paste I'll just uh, i'll say two here three four five so if it is five that means if this operation gives five okay that means that the grade of the student is f and down here i need to 
precise the break keyword to make sure to exit the uh, the switch case. Here I will say if the result of this operation is six, grade must be B, this and break. Let me copy this and paste, paste like this. So I will say if we have seven here, we will say C, eight, B, if you get nine and 10, you say that the upgrade is A and then break. And after that, I will say default. So this is going to be a default function. I will say system that out that print line, or I'm going to use my output object. We call it output file. So I will say output file that print line invalid let's say your score is invalid so that's it after that i'm going to add an output statement using the output object that i declared at the beginning so i will come out of the switch case structure so i will say output file that was the output object i declared i say that system and that now that print line and i will say first name name score then grade so that's it. Outside of the while loop, I will use a if statement to output a message in case there is no data in our input file. So I would do it like this. I would say if, remember that we initialize a counter, we say counter, because if there is no data, that means that the while loop won't execute. If counter is equal to zero, then we want this message to show in our output file. We'll say output file that print line like this. We want it to read there are no data in the input file and the last thing to add is going to be the method close to close my input object so i'll put file that close like this semicolon and everything is set up correctly so now everything is set up correctly you can run your program and see what happens if i come here and then click on run and then come to my project directory as you can see here i have the output file that has been created so the program is going to create that file automatically based on what we specified here okay remember at the beginning we said print writer output file new print writer output file. so we specify that we want our result to come to this output so if we didn't have that output file in our project uh, folder here the program is going to create it automatically and if i open and as you can see i have my uh, student first name name the score the score and then here i have the corresponding grade which has been added because here in the input file we didn't have the grade we only have had the first name the name and then the score but meanwhile based on what we wrote in our code we were able to get the grade as well thanks to the switch case structure we wrote in our program here so as you can see our while loop was able to execute until there was no more data to read in in the input file and we didn't get any error so guys that was it concerning the end of file while loop and how you can design it a very uh, simple program like this one so i hope this video was informative i thank you very much for viewing and please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one let's meet in the next one